Hi friends, welcome to Vafa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 6 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about variables in Python. The main agenda is to know about variables in Python and the rules to define variable names and also how to assign values and multiple values into variables. So let's go to next slide. So Python variables, that means what is variables in Python? So variables are nothing but generally they are like a containers for storing data. Okay, that means for storing any kind of value, be it may be integer value, be it may be string value, whatever may be it is. They are like a containers to store the value. Okay, and in Python, these variable names are case sensitive. So when I mean, when I say like variable names are case sensitive, what I mean is, uh, if you declare a variable name like this, uh, let me go to our Visual Studio Code Editor for Python, and then I will practically show you that. So let me navigate to this open folder menu from the file. And uh, if you have watched my previous videos, we have been working with the Python files inside this Python demo folder. So let me select that folder. And once you select that folder, in the explorer, you can see your Python demo folder and also there are few Python files available. So let me create a new Python file here and let me name this file name as maybe like variables.py, okay? So this is my Python file. So when I say this variable names are case sensitive, for example, if I create variable like this, a is equals to maybe 24. And if I create another variable like this, capital A, G, E equals to 25. And another variable may be like this. So all these three are different actually. So because we, Python consider variable names as case sensitive, so this age is a separate variable and this one is a separate variable and that one is. So it won't treat all of them as a same same variable, okay? So it will treat everyone as a different variable, okay? So that that is the meaning of case sensitive, okay? So let me remove this. Let me go back to our slide. So Python has actually how to declare variables in Python is, there is no command for declaring a variable in Python. The moment you assign any value into any, into any variable, that's when the type and variable will get created for you. So what I mean is, let me go to Visual Studio here. So this is a C sharp program. So in C sharp programming language, if you want to create a variable like, like uh, A, which should have a value like uh, maybe 10, okay? So what you should do na, in, in C sharp, so before assigning uh, any value into variable, you should declare it first, so like this using int command, you should declare a variable and then after that you should assign a value to it. Okay, so this command declaration command is mandatory in almost all the programming languages before assigning any value into variable. But in Python, that is not the case. If I go to Visual Studio code here, for example, here what I am doing, I have typed a variable name and I didn't declare with any type here. There is no command like int, string, nothing. Directly I am assigning a value to it. The moment you assign any value into any variable, that's when the variable will get created automatically. No need to declare any command to say what type of variable it is. So it is not required in Python, okay? So let me declare another variable like maybe name, name equals to let me say like Mahir, okay? So this means a variable which is type of string will be created with name as name and value will be like Mahir, okay? So that's what it will do behind the scenes automatically, okay? So by seeing this value, you can predict, okay, what is the type of this variable? This is integer, this is string. If you really want to know on a big program, maybe you want to know what is the type of this variable, the easiest way is there is something called type function. If you use this type function and inside this type function, if you pass any object, then it will return you back the type, okay? So maybe let me use like name. So I want to get the type of name variable and let me print this onto our command and see what is the output. So let me save these changes and now let me execute this code and let me see what will happen. So I have clicked this run button to execute that code and if you see here, the type is string for that variable, right? So similarly, if I want to get the type of this age variable, then if I let me save this and then let me run this once again like python space variables dot py see it returned int variable okay so the type of any variable if you want to get it then simply use this type function to get that okay so let's go back to our presentation so that is what i have said here if you want to get a type of a variable you should use a type function okay and also i have added one more line here it says variables can change type 
after they have been set. What I mean by this line is, for example, uh, this name variable, uh, uh, maybe let me do this. Let me create a variable called a, let me assign a value to. So that means at this point of time, this a variable is an integer type. Now, if I assign a, similarly, let me assign another value into same variable. So this time I am assigning as Mahir. So what will happen now if you do this? So at the line, first, during first line execution, your variable type is integer. But the moment you assign any string value into that variable, the type of the variable also will get changed. So now the type of the variable will become string. So let me practically show you that also. Let me use a type function here and let me pass our variable a. Let me save the changes and then let me execute this. See, it returned type as string. Why? Because uh, the last execution uh, at the line at the line number two, you have assigned a string value to it. The moment you assign any new value into it, the old value and the old data type what it was assigned to for that variable will automatically get changed. Okay, so that is what the meaning of this line. Variable values, variables can change their type when you assign a values to it. Okay, so let's go to another uh, slide here. So in this slide, we are going to discuss about the rules which you should follow whenever you create any variable in the Python. Okay, so let me quickly go through this. This is little boring. Variable names must start with a letter or underscore. That means you should not start any variable with a number. The, what I mean is you should not create a variable like ABC. So this is like a wrong. I mean it, it is incorrect syntax. So okay. And also it should always start with some uh, numeric value. I mean some alphabet value, alphabet value or maybe like underscore. So even like this you can create a variable. Okay. And second thing is variable names can contain only alpha numeric characters. And if you want to use any special character then it should be only underscore. You should not use any other special character. So what I mean is, uh, you should so a b c d underscore x y z. This can be one variable. You cannot use like this a b c d or the rate x y z. So like that you should not define. Okay. So only underscore special character will be allowed. Not even the space. So for example, if you want to create a variable like first name, so maybe let's say like this, first space name. This is not allowed. So this is not a variable. Space should not be there. You can use alpha uh, underscore there like this. Okay. So if you want to create any variable names which should have multi words, the best way is maybe use underscore or maybe use like this, like first name. Then the next word would be with a capital letter like this. Okay. So even this syntax is allowed. Okay. But you need to remember that only underscores are allowed. And this point we already know variable names should be like, they are like case sensitive in Python age and age are different thing as I said before. Okay. So let's go to another thing. So in this slide, we are going to discuss how to assign multiple values to multiple variables in a single line of code. And also if you want to assign same value into multiple variables, how to do that. So these examples clearly shows that. So there are three variables A, B, C and you want to assign the values respectively like apple, ball, cat. So if you use this kind of syntax, this will assign these multiple values into multiple variables in a single line of code. If you want to assign the same value into multiple variables, you can follow this syntax. Let me quickly show you that. So let me go to our Visual Studio code. Let me create a variable a comma b comma c. Then maybe let's say like so apple should be the value inside uh, a variable. Then uh, ball should be the value. So let me type that ball comma then c a t cat. Okay. So now. If I use the print statement below, so let me use print, sorry, let me use print a, then print b, sorry guys, so print b, then print c. Let me save this and let me execute that and see, see the results. So let me type cls to clear the screen here. Then let me type python variable c apple ball cat that means variable a get the value apple variable b get the value ball variable c gets the value cat so how that happened because of this syntax what i followed and similarly as i said if you want to assign the same value into multiple variables then what you can do is maybe like a equals to b equals to c equals to maybe let's say like fruit okay so if i write a code like this this fruit value will get assigned into all these three variables so let me save these changes and then let me execute that and show you. See, all the three variables now contains the value called fruit. 
so that's how you should use these syntaxes to assign multiple values into multiple variables or one value into multiple variables okay hope you like this video and this video help you to get how the variables will work and how to define a variable name in the python and how to assign values to it and how to get a type of any variable in python so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much